Good morning and welcome back to Market Day Report. Got about 45 minutes underneath our belts for some trading with the uh, grain reports that came out this morning. Prospective plantings and our grain stocks report. We saw the board uh, stretch those uh, highs and lows out just a little bit. So let's see what they're trading at right now. We have got uh, May corn up six, at nine and a quarter, six fifty-eight and three quarters. July up five and three quarters, six thirty-three even. And December up one down one and three quarters, five sixty-five and a quarter. So kind of settling down a little bit, and right about in the middle of the range in the May. The December contract about the same. We're just kind of hovering right around the middle of it. I see the soybean trade. It had the most activity to it. Still up thirty-two and a quarter on the May fifteen oh six and three quarters. July of 28, 1475 even, and a big range, 43 cent range on that July contract. New crop November, 1317 and a quarter, up 13 and three quarters. Taking a look at Chicago wheat. Chicago wheat down six and a quarter on the May, 686 even. July down six, 698 and a half. And December wheat down six, six and three quarters at 727 and a half. Chicago KC, KC wheat, excuse me, KC red wheat, 867 and a quarter down four and a quarter. July down five and a half, 852 and a half. And December down five and a half, 848 and three quarters. With the Minneapolis wheat, spring wheat, with all that moisture coming in there, they should have at least a pretty good planting for it. Up five and three quarters, 885 and a half on the May. July up six, 887 even. And we've had a pretty good range in that. That's almost a, uh, a 20 cent range that we've had in it. December uh, uh, up six and three quarters, 889 and a half. I'd like to bring in my guest today, Todd Bubba Horowitz. Bubba, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you coming on the air this morning and helping me out. And it's, it's good to see you again. Nice to see you, Chris. How you doing? Man? I'm doing great, sir. Hey, we've got a lot of information to go through really quick here on this uh, grain stocks report and with the uh, with the planting. Which do you think is the most important right now? The numbers that we saw for the planting, or what we're going to have to have to deal with for the rest of this year? Actually, I think what we're going to have to deal with the rest of this year. I think that the the overall cost of production is going up dramatically, and we haven't. We're now finally starting to see a rise at the at the wholesale rate, which is a very good thing. Uh, but we have a lot more, we need a lot more to go. Uh, we're, we're way behind the actual flow of inflation. We're way behind the cost of goods to plant, way behind the cost of goods to produce. So I, I think that prices have to go higher. And I think we've started. And I, I, the report, I think, was already pretty much priced in. And I think you're seeing a kind of a reaction. Uh, wheat's still the lone, the lone drag here, but I think that wheat will pick itself up as well. And I think we'll start to see these prices move consistently higher for a while. Wow. Okay. All right. So in the uh, let's look at the new crop for just a second with the uh, numbers that we've got. That's going to be a big acres number for corn there, and not as near as big on beans. So that might help support your case a little bit for the higher beans as we go through. Do you see anything in those numbers for the new crop? If we have uh, worse weather, the the wet continues up there. Do you see farmers kind of changing over to beans a little bit? Well, I see farmers changing, but I also see some farmers, depending on what goes on here with this economy and, and a lot of things are going on, I could see some deciding to, to short and cut back or not plant at all going forward and, and not be a producer for a while. Right. You know, and again, I, if you're going to lose money, you got a problem. Sure, absolutely. And I guess with that prevent plant, that helps quite a bit, too. Bubba, I certainly do appreciate it. We're going to go away and take a, take a commercial break here and come back with you, and we'll talk livestock for just a second. That is Todd Horowitz with uh, Bubba Trading. Good morning and welcome back to Market Day Report. We're going to take a look at the livestock markets this morning to see what's trading in them with a little bit of movement in the grains here. I got April fats up 42, 167.97. Still hadn't expanded that range yet from high to low. June up 67, 161.65. August up 47 at 160.82. And that Dees contract still trying to keep above 170 right at 169.80, up 25 on the day. The feeder market really probably impacted by the grain markets this morning and a lot of the activity there. Currently trading April up 92 at 200.82, May up 120 at 205.65, August up 130 at 222. So a little bit lower corn market probably helping the feeder cattle market out just a little bit today. I'd like to bring Bubba back in and talk a little bit about this feeder cattle market. And we know because of the corn market, we see we're going to get additional acres. Is that going to make cattle feeders 
really happy now that they're going to see the lower corn price, but unfortunately may have to deal with the higher feeder cattle price. Well, I think, and I think they're going to unfortunately have to deal with higher higher grain prices as well. Even though we're seeing for the time being in the new crop a little bit lower pricing, I, I think that they're going to continue to see, and I think this directly correlates to the overall economy and to actually crude oil is what I've been correlating everything to. If crude stays lower, and I think that cattle and feeders will continue to kind of stroke higher, uh, and I think they'll be steady to higher. I don't think they're going way down. But we do know that we're short. We've got a 50-year shortage in cattle in general. And I think that shows some weakness for the hog market. And I think that, that will reverse back and forth depending on what's going on with the actual cost because the people who are buying only have so much of a budget to be able to afford what they can based on certain costs and prices. Sure. And you mentioned the crude oil market. And we've seen it trade, you know, between the 69 and 75 here for quite a while. And uh, this morning we were up a little bit more, touching closer to 76, 77. So I know that's going to be hampering towards the uh, towards the consumer there when they're looking at making those purchases in the grocery store. So, Bob, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Really good to see you again. And I uh, hope to get to see you again. So thank you for coming on. And uh Suzanne, I think that's it for me again here.